Okay, right, so here is my room tour. So I am in a part of my garage. My husband converted um, a section of the garage, put up this wall. So it is a really tiny little room. It's a very simple room, um, only because I am rubbish. I can't put, I can't make a room look nice. I literally cannot do it for the life of me. So it doesn't look very like Insta worthy or anything like that. I mean, I'm, I'm a very simple person. Um, yeah, so that's why it's just practical. Um, so I'm going to go through like what I'm keeping in my trolley, what I'm keeping like storage um, and my equipment, where I've got everything from. And I'm also going to go through my stock where i keep it all um and like my postage and that sort of thing so you get to see like everything so let's go okay so we start by this is like the actual garage and this is my room so it's literally like there's my house <laughs> there's my garage so the commute every day is not too bad so this is the like adjoining wall that we put in um i keep saying we i didn't do any of it like this is literally the garage. So put the door in, my husband and his dad, so my father-in-law. So I've got my little um, things that my friend bought me um, and then my certificates here. I've got a couple more to go up. And then we spin around, here's my bed. Right, so here is, this is my favorite thing in here right now. This painting was painted for me by my very good friend, Carl. He's my hairstylist. Um, I met him when I, uh, lived in Tenerife. He now works in Morley in Leeds. The most amazing hairstylist. Um, obviously, the most amazing painter. I've got a couple of his pieces in my house as well. Obsessed. I cannot stop looking at this. I love it so much. So then we spin round. There's my bed, a little shelfy thing, my trolley. And that's basically it. Like, it's small. Um, and as we go through, you will see that a lot of it is from Amazon. Um, I do think that like in this time, we should be supporting small brands. But, you know, when you need the things, you need the things. So, um, yeah, Amazon. I think that was like £80. Amazon for the pillow. Um, I got all my bedding from Asda. And then obviously I've got my roll to go over the top. Some uh, towels I got from Asda. Um, underneath the bed, I've got some stock, which I will show you now, actually. So this is like things that are on my website. So I've got some, um, like wrist, some like wristbands, um, racks, mirrors in there. I've got some old lashes that I don't use anymore, um, which I might put up on like a for sale, you know, because they were, I bought them as testers, um, loads and loads of tweezers. So that's all under there. And then I did a little video on my Instagram yesterday to show how I put that on to keep my feet comfortable while I'm lashing. So if we go, let's go up on the shelf. So this is all the, all the lashes that I'm using while I'm lashing, mostly volume. Um, these are all off lashes, all of them, apart from these two. These are fat lashes because they're really super long ones which I don't stock the super long ones. So um, this one it is loft lashes as well. I am going to switch to a plastic box as I continue my range just because uh, it was expensive and I think I was trying to run before I could walk with the range. So um, yeah, I've still got loads of the cardboard ones in, which I do love. And hopefully, you know, they're a goal to go back to at some point. But yeah, I am going to be stocking some plastic ones as well. Um, and then some like tweezers up there. That's just for like display. Sometimes I do use these in training. Um, I like people to try different types of tweezers so that they can get a grip of like what suits them. So my stool is a saddle stool. This is the third stool I've had now. Um, I like this one. It doesn't hurt my back. So let's have a look what's on the trolley. If you heard that click, that was my knees, by the way. <laughs> Yuck. Okay, let's have a look. Um, so I've got some like oil-free makeup remover. Um, these all day long for removers. I love lashes, gel remover, liquid remover. They're the fastest ones I've ever used. Um, here I've got um, a primer from Lash Art, which I've always used. I really like this one. 
some brow spatulas for waxing um my glue shaker these are i've got some ibuprofen there for me if i ever need it my back because i get really bad backache um bamboo micro brushes and bamboo spoolies which are available on my website just saving the planet over her yeah it's good to use the bamboo ones um what do you call these pads ipads i just keep them there um these are what i got the i get these from amazon just the standard ones because i use tape I, it's not the shape of them is not so important um and then a few bits here that i don't really use um this is perfect perfect fan from lush base that's to stop the fans from closing um but i don't use that um i think i was just being scared when i bought that this is a primer from Fora Belly, which is a company that I use for the glue. Um, I'm testing this. This is their primer. And this is another lash base product that I don't ever use. I'm not sure why I've got it. Um, so over here, I've got my lashing mirror. So this is my one. Look how shiny it is. You can literally see me through it. Uh, this is what I use while I'm lashing. Now, these tweezers, these are not my lashing tweezers. This is how like freaking ridiculous I am. Blech. I use these ones and only these ones, and they have one job, is to take the lashes out of the boxes. <laughs> That's all I use these for. If you look closely, they've even got like a little bit of maybe glue on them. Um, and then some brow tweezers, so yeah. <clears throat> and these, this is my rack, which is again available on my website. Um, my Nano Mister, Amazon, so cheap. A couple of 5Ps that I use for keeping the eyes shut. If you're wondering what this is this doesn't come off this is just glue fume residue that doesn't come off um this is how you can see how fumey your glues are look at it um gum tape i always get from amazon uh this is 91 percent alcohol so i spritz everything with this anything that gets touched like say this or my bottles that sort of thing um and these i got from amazon again these nozzles are really good, you know, for like rinsing the eye. So that's that. All of this will get spritzed and cleaned up again before I start lashing again. So, and in, in this drawer, I keep just like little bits. Obviously, your clients are all women. So, like, keep the, keep the tampons and things like that. Um, and then down. So, I am going into brows. And I'm completely new at it. So I just went with recommended products. So I don't know what everybody else is using. This is what I'm starting out with. So this is a, the Salon System Just Wax um, pre-wax gel and then the after wax lotion I bought. I also bought this one from Karen Lab, which is, it's oh my God, this smells amazing, this stuff. Um, it's another after wax lotion, but it's quite fragrant, which is why I then went and bought the sensitive one as well. So like, I'll get to know my clients. Um, I use brushes back here. These brushes I use for shampooing. I like to use the, the blending brushes. I just think that they get in a bit better, a bit softer on the eye. And then some brow brushes, some pens. Um, I'm sure we've all seen these boxes, keeping all my lashes um, safe and clean and dust free and all that stuff. Um, I went with Hairwell uh, for Tin and Developer. We'll see how we get on. I did do my own. I just bought all of the colours um, and see, you know, how it works out for clients. I did my own. It was fine. Um, I bought this little thingy from Amazon again the other day just to, I might, I might put things in it. I might not. Um, and then this is my, I've got a bit dirty that now. I need to clean that. This is my uh, tweezer book thing. That I use so these are all the tweezers that I use some I'm testing um these are all loft lashes these are like all my rose gold ones that I use these are my personal ones and if I'm not using them they go back in there and I keep them super safe because they're my freaking life and then some more product from Flora Belly that I'm testing all of my glue at the minute is in my house I don't need it out right now um my last bottle I had to chuck, obviously, lockdown. And then down here we've got um, masks. Um, I need to get my gloves in here as well. Tissues, that sort of thing. These are all, I've just got this out for the video. Like, don't think they just sit there. Um, and strips, wax strips. 
I don't know. I've not even tried these yet, so we'll see. I don't know where I got these from. I don't know. I can't remember. But it's like a lot. I don't know how long that will last. Anyway, and some petroleum jelly. Let's go on to see what's over here. Let's move my little heater because it's still freezing in here. Um, here are my... Hello. Here are my um, manuals that I've written up. I've written up and printed for my training. Um, there she is. See her a lot. Some more tweezer display. I went with this... Um, what do you call this? <laughs> heater wax heater yeah this one again amazon i think that was like 47 pounds um i have used it once it worked it heated the wax so that's that um mirror my little retro um radio got from b and m a long time ago and then a little sort of thing a candle that i got some sainsbury's this is really nice this one yep okay so i've completely reorganized these um drawers so I can't tell you any of the brands in here because all of the brands are, apart from, I think there's a fat lash there. Uh, they're all testing. They're all stuff that I've tested and I do still use some of them. Um, but yeah, a lot of them I don't use so much anymore. They're like just in cases, just in case I run out of my ones because obviously I use my own brand now. But all of these are like things that I've been testing um, for my brand. So that's what they are. They're, they're, you know, they're, they're unnamed, so it would be no point telling you. Um, there's some of mine that um, didn't need to go up on the shelf because I don't use them so much. This is the wax that I'm going to be using. Just Wax um, Aloe and Cucumber Gel Wax. Um, it worked. I did my legs. It was fine. Um, this is cute. Some, one of my Instagram followers made me these in the first lockdown. How amazing are they? She sent them to me for free and the packaging was lovely and everything. That was what she did. So that was really lovely. Just in case you're watching this, I still have this, by the way, and I still look at them all the time. I love them. These are all of my newer lashes, my plastic box lashes. These are for training. So they're 0.07s um, for Russian training. And then I've got 0.15 cc's for classic training. Um, I like to go more curlier. I think we all do. So I think just start as you mean to go on. Don't bother with the, the B or the C curls. Like, no way, Jose. And again, some more just in cases if I run out of anything. Um, this is a bit of, like, everything in here. So these are all the classic lashes that I use. I'm using mostly... Um, until I get my own brand of classic lashes properly going, which might not be for a, a little while yet, I'm using mostly Lash Art, the Wonder Lash. So, yeah, Wonder Lash for classics um i picked up a little bit on clashes classic lashes actually i didn't do so much some spare um spatch wooden spatulas these are the under eye pads that i use i'm sure lots of you do some alcohol rubbing alcohol oh it's 91 percent. yeah it's for, like spritzing things this lens i bought for taking pictures and things for my instagram i think i've maybe used this once it, I don't know, I couldn't get on with it. I got that from London Lash. And then my fan. What's under there? Oh, it's just a pad. And then there's a bottle of shampoo in there, which um, has to go in the bin, actually, because it's brand new and never used it, and it's got a shelf life. So this was, like, everything that I had for training. Um, but it, now that's sort of, like, been dispersed all over the place, and some of it's in my house as well. Hmm, I should show you what's in my house because there's lots of stuff in there. So there's just some training lashes there that I use for my mannequin head. Another thing that I got from um, like a resin um, jade stony thing from um, Jody. So that was really lovely. I love that. Don't use these, but I do put them in starter kits so that people have got options. The 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 finger things, the rings. I don't like them. Um, bin liners. Ooh plastic these never use these anymore i don't want to ruin the planet do you i get all of my micropore from amazon because it's super expensive in the shop sponges for training 
uh, got some tissues. I don't know why. This is my air. Ah, oh, yes, I should show you my equipment that I've got. Um, jade stones that I put in starter kits as well. So that's quite. It's all quite boring in here now because everything else is like in my house, which I will show you. Okay, so now I'm going to go in my house and show you the extra bits that I've got because obviously I'm selling now. I've got stock freaking everywhere. So let's go. So in this cupboard, I've got um, my like postage stuff. There's my glues from um, For A Belly, all my printing stuff. There's all my bamboo. Well, some of them. I've got loads of those um, stuff. And then here are my ready to grab lashes. These are all loft lashes. Um, these are all the stuff that I use in my room. So there's freaking boxes upon boxes here. 0.03s, Ds, 0.05s, Cs and Ds. Um, they're all in there, so they're ready for me to grab. And then in another box, I've got all of my extra lashes that I keep and some more brushes there. So just loads of stock. So I hope you found that interesting. Um, like I said, I wish... I wish I could make my room like really nice and you see all these really nice ones on social media and things, but I just haven't got an eye for that. I don't know. I, I can barely dress myself to be fair. <laughs> so um, I am really happy with how it's sort of turned out. I'm sure it will continue to change. Um, and actually the plan for this, like for now from the last um, room tour was by now to have my own sort of like little salon or something and obviously that's not worked out so I'm happy being in here it's good it gets me away from the house and um yeah I can't wait to start lashing again <laughs>